conversations with the Empress. I am the Empress. And today we have yet another installment of the Raw and Real Wednesday. No graphics, no edits, just me popping my shit. <laughs> so um, I can't do my hair for y'all this morning because my hair is not under here anymore. So, you know, this shit is already ready made. <laughs> I ain't got to do nothing. Um, but anyway, and I'm just doing my hair. But I'm a weird person that as soon as I got my hair done, I wanted to take it out so I got my hair. I don't know. I'm just weird. Um, but uh, latest news that I heard for you that are all uh, reggae and dancehall fans that I heard Lady Saul is coming back to the game. Now, y'all know Lady Saul was one of the most explicit dance hall reggae artists there was, you know. Um, and now she's back in the game or coming back in the game. And she actually had left the game to go pursue her religious beliefs and be a pastor or whatever. And now she's coming back. So, you know, I asked the question, why is she coming back? And basically what I feel it is, is that, you know, she had came out and made some statements against Shaughnessy about the lick video, which is pretty explicit. Not the worst I've ever seen, but it's pretty explicit. You know, my opinion on women doing explicit things, more power to you because the men been doing it forever and ain't nobody got a problem with that. So you already knew where I stand on that. Um, but my thing is, you know, she made these comments and then she got backlash behind it and then she made the decision to come back. So my thing is like, first of all, you need to be true to yourself no matter what. You know, no matter what society says, no matter what your family, friends, you said, your family say, your friends say, you gotta be true to yourself. Because when you don't, when you're not, you're constantly just running and pretending and running and pretending. And that's like super stressful. So I don't feel like she ended up going to be religious for the right reasons, but she's definitely coming out of being religious for the right reasons because I feel that it's a pull for her to get back to who she really is. Like, and then it's the other thing, like, why is it that Christian people cannot have a sexual side? Like, I don't understand where this thing came from. Like, if you're a Christian person, you can't have a sexual side. That's not true at all. If that was the case, then married Christian couples wouldn't have sex. Okay? Like, your sexuality is a part of who you are, whether you're Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever. You still have a sexual side. You know? There's levels to the maturity of your sexual side, but we all have that. It's a part of being a human. Um, And I feel like now, because she got that backlash, she's on some, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. But at the same time, I feel like she was looking for a reason to come back you know, it's a lot more women in the game now, saturated. And, you know, I feel like she wants to come back and show out and, and throw her hat in the ring. And that's fine. I just want her to be honest, be your authentic self and be true to yourself and do what you got to do for you. Like, that's it. Um, But I got a kick out of it that she came out and tried to, like, ridicule other women for doing what she was doing a long time ago. Like, Lady Saul was nasty back in the day. Um. And furthermore, like, stop, stop putting these double standards out here on women. Like, you know, I deal with that all the time with people saying like, oh, my show is explicit or, you know, why do you, why do you have to do a, a Freaky Friday? Why do you have to be so sexual? Well, these are my reasons why I do my Freaky Friday, right? First of all, I'm a sexual being. Um... I've always been a sexual being, even when I was a child, even though I didn't know that's what it was. And I feel like me talking about sex and educating people about sex is really my purpose. Because I've had too many people tell me that they love the way I put my information out there. It's not nasty or trashy. It's very classy and sexy and educational. So nobody taught me how to do what I'm doing. I learned how to do it myself. As far as talking about sex, <laughs> I've been talking about sex way before I started this show. 
Everybody would come to me with their sex questions, looking for sex advice and kink advice way before I started doing the show. Okay? Oh, yes, check it. I'm checking for the nips today. Y'all ain't getting no more freebies out of me. <laughs> These braids is making it hard to keep the nips in check, but um, I am my authentic self, okay? No matter what, I am my authentic self. And the other thing is like, just because I talk about sex and I'm a sexual being, that don't mean I don't have a spiritual part of myself. I'm very spiritual. I'm not super religious. I was brought up super religious, but I'm not super religious. I'm very spiritual though, extremely spiritual. I pray, I meditate, you know, I speak to my spirit guides and my ancestors and whatnot. Yes, I do. But that don't mean that I'm not a sexual person. Religion, spirituality, and sexuality can live in one body, okay? Um, I think a lot of people have a hard time just being themselves and just embracing who they are despite the heat from other people. And I get it. Like, the culture we live in now is like the cancel culture, you know? And I get it, like even with my show, like I'm not a big deal or whatever, at least not yet, but I'm like careful about the things I say and the things that I do because I want to be here. I want to be to the point where I can say what I want. Because if you notice, <laughs> people that have been in the game for a long time, whatever game it is, they definitely say what they want and they don't give a fuck because they don't have anything to lose because they own it all. So when you own your shit and you own everything, you can say what you want. Pause for the calls. I'll speed this part up for the video. I know y'all would love to see something else in my mouth besides this toothbrush. <laughs> okay, sorry, had to do that. Can't do my hair now, so you gotta get brushing my teeth. Um, but you know, I have, um, I'm getting better at that art of, you know, what do you call it? Politically, political correctness. I guess that's not the term or whatever, but I'm, I'm trying to be more conscious of the things that I say and how I say them, at least on my YouTube platform. At least on my YouTube platform, on my Instagram, I say whatever I want for the most part. But I don't know. America has this way of making you think you're free when you're really not. <laughs> and the people who are awake realize they're really not free. Um, it's also been a lot of stuff going on lately in the media with more police shootings. They just had like this no-knock warrant and they killed this young black man. And I got into this discussion at work the other day and I just said, you know, racism is like this old, antiquated, stupid ideology that's just lived here for so long. And it, it, it honestly makes America look dumb that we're that we're fighting over race like it just looks it just makes us look so dumb i recently had talked to this dude because you know i'm on the dating scene and all that i had recently talked to this dude who grew up between portugal and like all these other countries because he was adopted and he spent most of his time living in europe and i asked him i said you know is racism a thing in europe and he was like no he was like not close as not nearly as much in america he was like, America is like the worst country for racism. He said, most other countries are not on it like that. And it just made me feel like, what the fuck is wrong with us, bro? Why can't we all just get along like Rodney King said, okay? It's not that serious. Like, 
We both get up and pee every morning. We both take a shit every morning. We both put pants on. We both eat. We both breathe air. We both wash our asses. Like, what is the problem? Like, even if you don't like me because I'm black, you can stay the fuck away from me. Like, <laughs> like I just, I don't know, man. It's kind of like when you have a plate of food and there's something on your plate that you don't like, just don't eat the shit. You ain't got to fucking stab the shit and throw it on the floor and cuss it out. Just don't eat the shit. Like, that's how I feel about racism. You don't have to like me. Like, the fact of the matter is there's always going to be racism. But the fact that it controls so much shit in this country is ridiculous to me. I just feel like it's so stupid. There's so many stupid things, but that's like one of the biggest stupid things. And it's like, how many more black people y'all going to kill before black people actually get mad and really start taking retaliation out? Like, it's only a matter of time. Like, I don't want that to happen, but you can only poke a bear but so much. And, like, this shit is just getting out of control. After the George Floyd thing, that should have been it. Like, that should have been it. Because cops are went to jail for that, and they're still out here killing black people. They really don't care, okay? And something about Minnesota. I will not be visiting Minnesota, especially Minneapolis, anytime soon in my life because y'all love killing black people out there. Um... And I ain't for the entertainment, all right? Not that entertainment. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just leaving to say, you know, my two messages with this raw and real is to just be yourself, be your authentic self, because you cause yourself more problems trying to pretend to be something that you're not and trying to fit in a box that people built for you. Be yourself. That's where your true happiness resides, okay? Be yourself and live in that shit. Secondly, love each other, bruh. Respect each other's differences. Embrace each other's differences. That's the things that make us all beautiful. All right? Damn. Why we got to make something so damn complicated? And that's the raw and real boo-boo. Hey, yo. Thanks for watching. My contact information is below. Please go like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your support is as always appreciated. If you want to show that support with them dollars, though throw your girl a cash app you feel me until we meet again smooches mm.